Hello, and welcome to the tutorial for the Spicy Shield. Um, you may have by now seen the um, experiment video where I put the Spicy Shield up against the three canisters of tear gas that I had, um, and it did amazingly well. Um, Spicy Shield is really just an infinite N95 plus um, activated charcoal. So I'll show you how to put that together. I do have to thank the Mad Mask Brigade for the input and ideas on how to create this. Um, but without further ado, and so I don't put you to sleep, let's get started. So first you're gonna need um, activated charcoal. Sorry about my writing, it's terrible. Um, you can actually get activated charcoal like this um, at your local pet shop or pet fish store or aquarium supply store. Um, I believe they sell this stuff in buckets by the pound. Um, but they also sell it like this, which is how I prefer to use it. Um, Pre-packed. Um, because in order to get, or well, first off, the activated charcoal um, serves as what they call a moisture barrier or a vapor barrier. So if you come in contact with anything that is a noxious vapor, um, you need a you need something to adsorb um, that moisture, and that's what the activated charcoal does. So, because it's uh, got these tiny, tiny, tiny little pores, um, the more surface area you have of it, the more that can be adsorbed into its tiny pores, okay? So, what you would need to do if you get it in this form is to use a hammer, um, or if you have a food processor, I mean, charcoal is non-toxic, so you can always just wash it out. Um, but you need it to be the size of, uh, I'd say, like a sesame seed for our purposes. Okay? And, um, yeah. So you would need to put it into mesh baggy. For me, it already comes in, like, a little satchel. So you want it to look kind of like this. Okay? Um, next, you need a porous fabric. It could be porous or it could be like a mesh okay um, I got this off of like an avocado sack um, and yeah you can use this or you could use like a let's see here this is what I use is like a protective cover over my infinite n95 this is just some polyester very porous you can see right through it um, Kind of just makes my mask not look so funky with uh, the white filtration material on top. All right, so then next you will need a funnel. Okay. And you will also need some sort of mesh tubing. Okay. This is some random mesh tubing I came across. Um, and I'll show you why that's necessary. You also need some rubber bands. I like to use these little tiny ones here because it's less that you have to wrap itself or loop it around itself. Okay, so with all that said, let's get start. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I almost forgot the most important thing. You're gonna need your Infinite N95, okay? If you don't already have one, um, I'll include the link 
in the description below of how to make your Infinite N95. Um, and whenever I work with these, this shield in the front is pretty easily scratched. So before I place it on any type of surface, I make sure it's a nice, soft, non-abrasive surface. Okay, so I use a little pillow like that. All right, so let's get started. So you take your Infinite N95, and you're gonna notice that if you use these specific types of satchels, um, it actually provides full coverage on top of the T-ball. Okay, let me show you. This is a T-ball that we use to create the Infinite N95 and it's got pretty much complete coverage of it so that means all the air that you pull through will be passing through um, the activated charcoal. I've actually found that similar to the T-balls are these little two inch sink strainers with this little rod in the middle. That actually helps because if you want to get it pretty tight, um, there won't be any deformation of the mesh. So if you can find one of those, great. If not, a regular T-ball is just fine. So to do this, you place your satchel, just lay it on top of there. And for now, all we need to do is rubber band that into place so it won't move around. Okay. And then, to secure it in place, you're going to use your mesh or your porous fabric and wrap it around there. I've shot this video like two times already, but it took way too long. And I think it would have put people to sleep. So I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. So here you go. You take your mesh and drape it around everything. And then you take a rubber band and secure that in place. Okay. And now you've got very good coverage. Okay. You can tuck that in if you want to. But the mesh or the fabric is really just there to keep it all secure so that if you're moving around it won't just flop off of your head okay okay so what was that funnel for what am i using this funnel for well um this mesh tubing material is so that this underside of the t-ball that is still exposed without any coverage from the activated charcoal. I like to call it act coal because it's quite a mouthful. Um, so what this is, is it's like a, it's like a barrier. So basically you want to cut maybe three or four different lengths to wrap around here as a barrier. Okay, and how you do it is, well, if you're making your own, you can sew a piece of porous fabric or mesh into like a long um, strip and then make sure it's got some space at the ends here so that you can, one, you can tie it off. And then on the open end, you're going to take your funnel, jam it in there. You're going to take your coarsely ground um, activated charcoal and just pour it in slowly so it goes in. Okay. So. And you also want to leave some space at the top so you can tie it off. So now, if you've 
got this little hot dog shape or like candy or something. Now you want two or three of these so that you can first wrap one around and then tie it around the back and then on top of that you'll wrap another one around so that you can have full coverage underneath where there would be an opening. I mean, there's still the fabric or the filtration material, um, but in order to have that vapor barrier, you'll have these, okay? And if I can think of anything else, no, that's basically it. That's your spicy shield. It doesn't look perfect right here, but um, you could also, like I like to do with my masks, is I like to put a final, you know, either accent fabric or whatever you want to not make it look like a silly thing on top of your head. Um, one of the advantages of the snorkel or the Infinite N95 is that the airway is on top. So you can basically layer anything on top there that you want to become your filter and it won't fall off the bottom like um, regular respirators. So you could even put like a ham sandwich <laughs> and just lay it on top of here or something. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's what we came up with and it works really well. As always, I will include all relevant links in the description below, including the test of this mask against tear gas. Um, yeah, and thank you for watching again. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, so hopefully we can protect as many people's lungs as possible. Um, be safe, and have a good day. Keep up the good fight.